Hi and a warm welcome to the first session of this video series. It is great that you all have already decided to start exploring avenues to create an additional or alternate income market for yourself. So now you will be A. Learning new concepts and skills and B. Unlearning old habits. Some of you may have already read the booklet or maybe halfway through. How far you could proceed in this journey till this minute is not important. What is critical is you are out of your inertia. That is half the battle done. Now please be honest, are we ready for the other half? Do you take responsibility for your own learning? See, adult learning is mostly self-directed. Adults, as you know, are free to direct their own learning. They bring knowledge, thoughts and experience to each learning activity. If the learning is not practical or result oriented, they just lose interest. They have different styles of learning, visual, auditory or kinesthetic. Do you find it easy to learn by seeing, by hearing or by doing? To own up your learning roadmap, you need to have adequate awareness about yourself and your preferences. So to enable you, what will this video series cover? This there is a long list of frequently asked questions already available in the booklet. We will still address a few of them here to expedite your learning process because some of those are really crucial. We will also address queries that we receive on mail or during Skype sessions for the benefit of others. So in today's session, we are going to focus primarily on why people tend to engage in alternate learning and earning model. The trigger can be an aversion towards A exams, B scores, C grades, D certification, E competition, F mundane learning, G disconnect between learning and outcomes. And the motivation to try an alternate mode of earning can be financial freedom, passive income, work-life balance, flexibility, early retirement, anything. But those are some of the popular buzzwords that are beaten to death by many coaches and mentors and speakers. Let me take you a step further. For those who have finished reading the booklet, you must be well versed about the different levels in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. One, your basic needs that include your physiological and security needs. Two, your psychological needs that includes your relationships, sense of esteem and accomplishment. Three, finally at the apex of Maslow's pyramid are your self-esteem needs and to get here one has to achieve previous needs and master them. So if you are earning well, your basic needs are taken care. If you have a paper or property asset, you kind of feel secure about the future. You have great relationships, amazing colleagues. However, when you're constantly ignored by senior management for that promotion or not being taken seriously by friends, or if you have to compromise on a day-to-day -day basis, that leads us to the next big concept, Ikigai. While Maslow's Pyramid outlines where you are today in the landscape of needs, Ikigai simply defines what you would like to do today to get paid and to fulfill those needs. If you have completed the exercises in the first two chapters, you will know. If you do not know why you want to do this, or for that matter anything new, you can never figure out how you will do it or what you will do it will stop as abruptly as it started. So find your Ikigai first, your purpose of being, and then choose your path. All references and concepts that I'm talking about in this video, there are links below which you can deep dive anytime you want. I strongly recommend you do because it will assist you when you're coaching or facilitating. Now, why have we kept the duration of these sessions limited to just 8 to 10 minutes? Human short-term memory 
could only hold five to nine chunks of information. Actually seven, plus or minus two. With the interference of digital gadgets, attention span today is a huge challenge. So we have to work with manageable chunks. You will find seven themes in each video. So the challenge today is not in finding information, but in processing information First, that you are not at a crossroads anymore and you have started on a definite learning path, which is great. Second, you will have to own up your own learning. Third, what support can you expect from these videos to facilitate your self-learning? Fourth, you have to figure out why you want to do this, your purpose, your reason, your rationale. Fifth, you also have to keep what you like and what you do to get paid for in harmony. Six, one concept learning in every video, seven chunk theory is what you learned today. Finally, a quick summarization. Just the way you all are engaged in an alternate learning model, so am I. This video series is as much a learning for me as it is for you. I hail from an HR background, a business grad, a bit of a globetrotter, worked with many multinational companies, led tons of HR campaigns, especially in the technology and leadership hiring space. I had a brief stint abroad in search firms and now keen to move up Maslow's pyramid. My need is to speak in forums, platforms and seminars about subjects that matter to me and to others. The top three questions we will address in the next video. What skills to offer to the global market? How much should I charge my clients? When do I start? So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.